Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSunder.com. If you are new to my channel, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And you can also follow me on a Facebook, links on the description. And this video is sponsored by MyTeamWorks.com. In our last video, we have learned how to store the information on a Firebase real-time database after the user authentication. So this video, I'm going to explain how to work with the um, uh, Firestore, okay? so. We, we are creating a to-do app, right? So after the user login, so the user is going to create some task and uh, we need to store the task under the user, okay? So that is what we are going to do right now. Okay, so here you can see we have a collections and uh, uh, documents over there. So let's, let's start coding, okay? Uh, to use the Cloud Firestore, First, uh, we have to declare the module on app.module.ts. So then go to your home page. Here I'm going to import. So now we have created an object, okay? And uh, from the Firestore object, okay? So what we are going to do here, so I'm going to create a, uh, some floating action button. So when the user click that button, we need to show some pop-up. And uh, inside the pop-up, I'm going to type the title and the description. And when I click then, so we need to store the data into the Firebase under the user account. Okay, that is very important. Okay, so now we have to create a button. Okay, let's uh, create a button, ion button. When the user click add, so it will show the pop-up. Okay, so let's save the file and see what happens. So now you can see when I click this, so it asking the title and the description over here. So when I click add, I need to store the information. Okay. So we have the data. So the, this data or this response, it will contain this information okay response dot name uh, of title and the description okay so let's do console dot log the response okay and I click add so here you can see we got the title in the description okay so using this I'm going to store inside the fire store okay So let me explain what we are going to do here. So under the collection, so I'm going to use the name of the uh, user ID, okay? So under the user, we are going to store all the uh, tasks, okay? So let's see how it is working. So here you can see we, the random ID has been generated and here you can see. And uh, when I click add more, can do it yeah so here you can see we have created a multiple documents over here okay so let's uh, see how to fix these and uh, how to display in a list view okay so when the when this particular page is loaded I mean I own view it enter so we need to fix the information from the firestore okay so to do that so this dot firestore dot So once the page is loaded, so here we are uh, fetching the UID and based on the UID, we are fetching all the tasks and we are putting into the console, okay? So let me save this and see what happens. Okay, so now you can see we got an error called UID of null because authentication, it takes some time, okay? So in case if you try to call this one, so authentication will fail, okay? So to avoid that, what I'm going to do here as a temporary, okay? So fetch. Okay, and to, going to create a button. So let's wait for a few seconds. And then when I click fetch, now you can see I received the information. Okay, some information from a Firebase, uh, Firestore. Okay, so uh, we have three documents over here. So that's why we are getting the three documents. Okay, so what I'm going to do here. So we are going to just do the loop over here and we, we need to assign into the tasks. 
Okay, I'm going to create a variable called tasks. It's going to be an array. And uh, so based on this array, I'm going to uh, display the list view. So I'm just going to display the list view in case a uh, uh, task has some value. Okay. So ng if task dot length equal not equal to zero. Okay. So if zero means there is no task. If if there is a task, we are just doing the loop over there. Okay. So here we got the information but the object is not readable like what we want okay so for that what we have to do so based on the response we have to loop that okay so for each so let's see how it is showing on the console console.log demo okay so let's see how it is working. So when I click fetch, so here you can see, so we receive the data title and the description title and the description, something like this, okay? So what I'm going to do here, so I can able to delete this and I can make it as a done, okay? Because uh, we created a variable called is done, by default it's a false, right? So to do that, And I'm going to the home.html. So after the ion label, so I'm just creating ion buttons. So ion button slide is going to be end. So we are going to make a is ion icon. So when the user click this button we have to make it as a done okay so done means so we have variable i mean we have the function called update so update so we have to pass item dot key so item dot key is nothing but so which we have created here okay so the document id is the key and the same thing for a delete operation so delete okay so let's create a icon okay I save this and see what happens so now you can see so when I click delete so it is deleted okay from the app and even from the firebase okay so I'm going to delete that I'm going to uh, make it as a done so when I click done so here you can see is done is going to be true okay so here you can see is done is going to be a false so Okay, so here also you can see is done equal to true. Um, let's do some color changes over here for a better understanding. So ion icon color is going to be. So let's see how it is working. So here you can see if the color is green, is done is true. Okay, so now you can see. Okay, see now you can see the color is not changed, right? Uh, the reason is here. Because here we fixed is done equal to true, right? So that is an error. So, because we need to swap the value. Let's save this and see the result. So now you can see. The color is also changing and the data is also updating and if i want to delete so it is deleting so if i want to add some task so you can see thank you so much for watching this video uh, you can get the source code links on the description and if you want to learn more about ionic visit codesynthet.com slash ionic tutorial uh, if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification and finally, this video is sponsored by mytheembox.com uh, where you can get to Ionic themes and starters. And uh, if you want any training, uh, like a one-to-one -one training, we, are, we still offer that. You just visit uh, coachinthe.com slash training. Hey guys, see you on next video.